Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with a follow-up to yesterday's video on the bare bones OG hurricane that we fought free for all in factory settings. And during that test, we decided what we needed to improve. In fact, here's exactly what I said at the end of the festivities. I think what I'm going to do on this weapon is I'm going to decrease the sprint to fire time and increase the ADS movement speed. If I can get ADS speed, that's okay. So how did we do? Well, let's take a look at the attachments that I decided to hang off of this thing. First, we start with the Sacken ZX grip, and that has no downsides, just helps with the recoil, which we were fairly well able to control in the bare bones configuration. The demo Quicksilver stock. And what that does is that addresses the mobility issues, specifically the ADS speed. We got a little benefit from that, but the ADS movement speed. Now, all of these numbers are composite numbers. They reflect all of the attachments that we've hung on the OG Hurricane. Mark III reflector gives us glass. Here's one that may be a bit Bit controversial. I gave up some ADS speed for the trebuchet brake, which really helps with recoil. It's going to make it even more controllable. The side to side, which we didn't see a lot of yesterday, is down to an almost zero level. And range, range we gave up a little bit on, but we're going to be fighting close quarters. And the F Talk MSP 98 hand stock, and that again helps with recoil, but more significantly, the ADS movement speed. Sprint to fire. We decided it was good enough at 110 milliseconds, so improving on that would have been fairly difficult without significantly impacting other areas. Now let's take this configured OG FSS Hurricane into the shooting range and have a look at the recoil. First hip shot with no control, and you can see it goes straight up all 50 rounds. That side to side bounce is gone. Now aim down sight. A little bit of side-to-side -side chatter, but it goes straight up. Now let's see if Grandpa can control it. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a hammer that drives nails into the very heart of the enemy. And I say that with a lot of love in my heart for them. So let's take this configured FSS Hurricane onto the Field of Honor. See how it does for Grandpa and what it did to Grandpa's friendly enemies. Let's go. All right, going to Tokyo. First engagement, trying the stray speed and Grandpa buys the farm. Not a good way to start free for all. Dying is never a winning strategy. Oh, there goes somebody. So there's a little difference in the configuration, minor. I put the Mark III reflector optic on it because I had an extra slot. I don't use ooh. I don't usually use scope or optics on SMGs, but I gave in this time. It doesn't affect any of the speeds. And as you recall, I kind of wanted to work on ADS, but I thought sp sprint and, and sprint to fire. But I thought that oh, I just flashed myself. Where to go? Where'd he go? Adrian. Oh, right in the back. Grandpa buys the farm. But I think that sprint to fire at 110 milliseconds was good. When I saw that I could increase my movement speed. Oh, look at this guy sniffing his feet. When I could increase my movement speed and my ADS movement speed. There's a all black terrorist there. Is that the dog? The black cloth terrace. There's the white furry tribble. And somebody, I think, stepped on my prox mine. It's kind of an early warning device. There they are, and they get me. There's just a straight on shot. And here's a good chance for strafing, and it worked out wonderfully. I'm sure I look like I was bouncing from one end to the other to that guy. And we'll be able to tell in the Black Ops 6 theater mode if we want to take the time to go back and look at our own kills. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, he's a dog. Get him with a Renetti and he sticks a thermite in my knee. I already have sore knees. 
There's an average terrorist. So the weapon is moving noticeably faster. And the ADS movement speed, the strafe speed, I can feel is much better. Jump up there. There's always somebody up there. Almost. Whoa. Somebody put tactical in there or lethal? Nobody there. Oh, well, furry triple. I got to get him. A little strafe. Wait till this stuff evaporates there. There's just a head on sprint to fire win, followed by a furry triple named Tan Tan. There's the dog. In fact, speaking of dogs, we have a dog named Tanner that my grandpa and wife, Grandma Newbie, calls Tan Tan. He's a puppy, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, that is a black and tan, which is a semi rare color for them. Hey, that guy doesn't own those three vehicles and he's stepping on them like he does. Of course, Grandpa doesn't practice what he preaches all the time. That's what you learn being a parent. Whoa. How did that one hit? He'll be waiting on me. There he is, stepping in paint. Oh, and he tries the elder abuse. Tries to beat me with the butt of his weapon. So the increased speed, there's a good chance to strafe. Got him. The increased mobility and the speeds on this weapon are very noticeable with the configuration. You got average terrorist. Nobody there. Nobody there. Tokyo's a nice city if people weren't trying to kill me all the time. Can't. Ooh. We got that one in the nostril. <laughs> that flashed that guy. Poor guy. He doesn't know where he is. Where I am. Grandpa did him dirty. Feel sorry for him right before I shot him. Thought I saw somebody there. There he is. We only have about, what, two minutes? Two minutes and 20 seconds to get nine Gax. If we want to win out right. Ooh, where'd he go? Look. Jump around the corner and get gacked by somebody waiting on me. There's White Furry Tribble, and he got me. You know, he's turned into obligatory knifer, and the thing about it is uh, that guy turned around quick. There's Furry Tribble. He got me. I've been saying that a lot lately. Tan Tan. My beautiful little puppy is Gak and Grandpa. Oh, Furry Tribble I saw. Let's see if we can play with him. In front of him, behind him, in front of him. And we got him. We were the puppet master. The Tribble was the puppet. There's somebody that stepped in paint, and he's just standing there. Helped out, Grandpa. He needs four Gax in less than a minute. Make that three. For a Snickers win, there's Furry Tribble. He's gone. Two more in less than 20 seconds, and the Muppet at the top of the stairs. There's always one there. We got Average Terrace. We just need one more in less than 10 seconds, and there it is. Average terrorist came back to volunteer. So, yeah, the, the weapon is fine. I mean, the attachments didn't hurt it. We got to do a hoo for that one. We got increased mobility, and sprint, sprint to fire was good at 110 milliseconds. We got very increased ADS movement speed, so we can strafe and bounce side to side. There we go. Oh. Second game in a row, I started out buying the farm, pushing up daisies. Purple Veil, none. We got a zombie coming at us. This place is eerie enough without with the alien guts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Grandpa eats a Granado. They're flying everywhere. Zombies coming at me. Do I dare go back out there again? Zombie got me. I think I might have gotten him. No, it was a crossfire. 
Look how that sprint to fire speed, though. Is winning them for Grandpa. The zombie was moving a bit quick, but he stepped on the proximity mine. Now, I must have looked like I was going from door jam to door jam on that one through his point of view on the strafe. So I'm pretty happy with this weapon. I don't know who he's shooting at, but he was Elvis. Body's flying at me. Right, we got a Muppet in the back. Oh, there's purple veiled nun. This this DOS house is always just carnage everywhere and adding alien guts to it doesn't make it better. There's oh purple veiled nun. Got me. This is really sausage making. I mean this is ugly, dirty deadly in other words a lot of fun we got a uh, got a muppet and muppet got us from somewhere else there we go i think i stepped on his proximity mine and it killed him and me whoa So the weapon up close, the sprint to fire, the actual amount of bullets that you can put out, the amount of bullets that you can carry, perfect for this map. I would carry this weapon anywhere. Yep, he was hoisted on his own petard again. Whoa, get down. <laughs> Grenades are everywhere. There's Purple Veiled Nun trying to... Lay down to take her vow, I guess. Oh, there's always someone up there. Let's see if that's true. Yes. And he was going to do something nasty. He was going to RPG some innocent bystander. There we go. Sprint to fire wins every time. Especially with the relative power that the bullets have in them, the damage. One more gack, and there it isn't. Reminds me of the fighter squadron going through noxious odors. There's got to be somebody that wants to die here. Thank you. And once again, I get gacked after the bell. Oh, yeah, it's a Snickers win. Hey, the configuration, perfect for Grandpa. Whether it will be for you or not, give it a try. Give me your comments on the hurricane. I'm interested in them. And please like and subscribe. Cheers and peace to you.